Well, good morning, guys. Uh, yes, here up at the main farm, and the rogue had made it all in one piece. No leaks. Um, there's a bit of coolant that had spilt, obviously, when we we're working on it that was um, burning off a bit, but other than that, there's no oil pouring everywhere, so um, yeah, I think we've had a win. But at the minute, we're gonna. Hey, bud, come on. Come on, Eddie, this way. So, the other thing we're just quickly doing is the planter's getting ready here to go down to the new lease block to plant some linseed. So it's going to be a fair drive. Um, so Phil's preparing for the big lonely... Well, he'll be escorted, but you're preparing for being a bit lonely down there, Phil? You're preparing to be a bit lonely down there? Oh, that's true. I've got to do, I got to do all the spraying, don't I? Yep, and then we've got a Kelly in front of where I've done a bit of dozer work. Yeah, right. So, we won't yeah, be lonely yeah, at all. No, so it's got a little bit of rock picking left there. Oh. oh, we'll be flat out. <laughs> <laughs> no. Get your weak set out. No, uh, what do you call it? No relaxing in the hills. Right, so what I'm quickly doing now is I've got some lights now. I did um, show the these murder lights the other day, um, or whenever that was. Um, so I'm going to put them on there, 40 watt. I do just have a set of steady lights that we'd had sitting there for a while. I think they're only 20, 26 watt maybe or something like that. Um, I'm going to put them on as well because these ones, Phil's been complaining that they're upsetting the radio. So, can't listen to the tunes. <laughs> so yeah. at night it's real staticky because cheap LEDs are known for doing that. Yeah. Um, so anyway, we're going to quickly swap them over and then Phil can compare them. Two murder ones on the outside um, so that'll be sort of facing out obviously this isn't straight but it'll just catch the edge and out there um, particularly handy when you're turning um, and I've got these steady ones they'll be shining right in the middle here where you have already got a bit plenty of light sort of there so we'll uh, know pretty quickly whether these murder ones are um, yeah well how much it's improved over the ones that were on there so That'll be good. I'll be looking forward to seeing that. I mightn't get a chance, but Phil will tell me, I'm sure. Um, I've got to yeah, do a couple of little jobs and then fly down to the house, which is at the new lease block, and um, get organised there, ready to spray out the pre-emergent spray um, before this thing gets there and gets sown. The other thing happening today is there is um, a bit of sulphate ammonia uh, being spread on the new lease block. Um, yeah, it was a little bit deficient in that, so that's getting spread as well. Um, yeah, so there's plenty plenty going on The other thing that was happening uh, to prepare for sowing a linseed down at the uh, new lease block is we have uh, we had last year's linseed still in the silo here and Usually with linseed there is quite a bit of um, just rubbish as in you know pods and um, bits of bits and pieces so it's uh, yeah, it can be quite tricky you don't want that to sort of bridge between small openings in the air seeder and it's uh, yeah, no point putting putting rubbish in the ground and, and even some of the small seeds which probably wouldn't have enough energy to do a lot um, so yeah we use that seed cleaner to yeah get all that stuff out um, Uncle Ian was uh, yeah he was in charge of that and he actually did get a little bit of footage uh, just on his phone uh, while it was happening because I couldn't get down here to see it all working so um, yeah I might just throw that up on the screen now and um, yeah it was quite seemed to do a really good job we'll 
quite pleased with, with that. Um, had to choke back that big auger fairly well, so maybe down the track we need to look at a, a small little pencil auger that can uh, fi uh, feed that, but you know, it all costs money. Well guys, we're here at the new lease block. Um, I've set up the base station up on the hill. You can see Tiny One just lurking in the shadows there. Um, we've got, yeah, the planter arrived, so they're filling up there. The spreader's filling up as well. Um, I'm staying out of all of that. I'm, I'm uh, yeah, so I'll just stay over here. <laughs> Well, we're about to get into it. Um, yeah, it is a bit of a challenging block, this one, just contours and all of that. So, uh, yeah, again, we'll try and get a bit of drone footage of some things happening today. See how we go. But, yeah, I'll be, um, yeah, doing a few odd jobs here, there, everywhere, do a bit of spraying. Then got to wait for Phil to catch up. So, um, yeah, there'll just be a little, little bit of everything going on. But um, a couple of people, well, actually, there's probably more than a couple of people. There was quite a few comments about the uh, poor old girl here breathing a bit heavy out the uh, out the breather and yeah you can see it all there it's uh yeah it was meant to be enjoying a semi-retirement um it is a bit of bit of a tired engine um still runs sweet all of that but the time will come when either it gets decommissioned or worked on um but yes it really yeah weren't planning on it being the main spray rig uh for this planting season but that's just how it worked but the road up and running now so uh, the pressure's off this a little bit so that's good but uh, yeah we'll have a think about it in the off season see what uh, what we what the best option is right oh well it's about a uh, I think it's about what 13 14 hectare little paddock um, this one and uh, yeah Phil's just started he's doing his headland and apparently it's going quite nicely um, yeah. That's, I think we got six mil of rain here a couple of days ago and it's just just been good enough to get the some of the lighter country um, yeah well to be able to get the moisture in there to put some seeds in there. So it's very good. Josiah's over there, he's just uh, been running around collecting a few rocks with a rock picker and uh, yeah. 
I think he's going to jump with the Kelly chains because there's a little bit that needs leveling out with the dozers or where Tiny Lunge have done a little bit of work with contours and um, yeah, that sort of thing. So that's uh, yeah, that's what's happening. There's a fair bit of action happening in this little block right at the minute. Um, I will say too, um, I think there's a bit of confusion with blocks, paddocks, farms, fields, all of that sort of stuff. So here we sort of use some terms interchangeably. A block can be either a paddock or a field or a whole farm. Um, so when I say development block, that's the whole farm. Block is used for a bit of everything. Um, so yeah, it is a bit confusing to keep track of all of that. Now we've got Josiah heading off in the big beast. Just gonna do some smoothing out, I think. That'll be most welcome because Yes, the D11s do leave one rather large rut. Um, but yes, it's not so great on the sprayer, but it does a good job and it does a quick, and that's what we need. I'm gonna do a bit of machinery cooking. Um, no, this isn't a cooking channel or anything. I just got some uh, ham and cheese in, uh, I think there's a couple of croissants actually. And I'm just gonna whack this on the engine somewhere, nice and warm and leave it there for a little bit and see if it works or not. Just sit it there for a bit. There's not really anywhere I can put it near the turbo that'll, um, yeah, that, that won't fall off because that, that would be worst case scenario if I lost my lunch. So I better not do that. But anyway, I'll update you in maybe I don't know, maybe when I go and go to fill up next, by that stage, we'll see what it's like. Right, well I finished this load, let's hope I find. Is that too hot? I don't think the cheese will be melted. But it'll be warm at least. Yeah, no melted cheese, but it is nice and warm. Guys, I'm just having a uh, quick break. It was unintended, but uh, yes, the grasshopper is once again out of fuel. Um, not my fault this time, because uh, yes, with all the toing and froing, um, we yeah. Anyway, ended it up that the fuel trailer wasn't here and it needed to be filled up with fuel, and it is currently only or oh, maybe five minutes away. So we thought we would time it just perfectly. 
But um, yeah, what happens is, I don't know why this is so bad for it, but you turn around and come up a little hill or something and it, and it yeah, it just seems to die. So it just gets a, a gulp full of air and, and that's it. But anyway, that's probably what, how many times have I run out of this thing out of fuel? It's probably like f maybe four times so far this year. So not good. I think we might have to strap a jerry can of diesel onto it somewhere. Um, Cause yeah, it's a little bit um, unprofessional. Let's just say that. But anyway, we've got um, Josiah, he's chugging away. I was doing a drone, bit of drone footage while I was driving and being real careful on that. But had I known I was going run to run out of fuel, I would have just done it now. But uh, yes, he's just going through um, some of this stuff here where it's just been smoothed out with the dozer. Um, and there's a new bank that's been joined up there. It's, um, yeah, it just needs a bit of love. So the Kelly train's doing a marvellous job there. It's all nice and smooth. Well, look. He's here. So what I do, it's not really good when you become good at bleeding a, uh, an engine but or a fuel system, but I just crack the last three injectors because they're the easiest to get to, um, run it for a bit, or just turn it over for a bit and then close them up and um, yeah, eventually after a little bit of turning over it, it uh, fires up all good. So back to spraying. Well, I'm just heading back to the hill to sort out a couple of things. Um, I don't think we're gonna push it that much tonight. It's always the first day when you move to another property to um, sew or do whatever you're doing. It just takes a bit of fiddling around, getting everything, um, yeah, getting into the rhythm, I guess. So anyway, we'll uh, leave it there for the day. Uh, see what tomorrow brings. Yeah.